Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about pros and cons of shaving your head as a woman. So in high school, I had this urge to cut all my hair off. I don't really know why, I just wanted it to be short. I was sick of doing it every single day. However, I just really wanted to cut all my hair off. So I think it was sophomore year of high school, I ended up chopping all my hair off and getting a really cool pixie cut. I will insert the picture right here. And honestly, after that, I just started loving short hair. I really enjoyed having a pixie. After a while, I got kind of sick of it and wanted to grow my hair out. I feel like when you have short hair, you want long hair. And when you have long hair, you want short hair. So it kind of just is an ongoing circle that never really ends. I'm showing you guys photos of me going through this whole different transition. So this was the start. And then as soon as I grew it to about like here, so I decided I want a different change when I was in college. So I colored it like almost black, like this really dark, dark brown. And I got really cute, like fringy bangs. And then I decided I'm not happy with this. I'm just, I can't do it. So I ended up getting an undercut, which I don't have a picture of it, but I basically shaved like this much of my hair underneath this part in the back, right above my neck. And I loved that, I thought it was really great, but that kind of just satisfied that little itch I had, but it didn't satisfy the full like, ooh, I wanna shave my head, I wanna shave my head. I thought about shaving it for so long. I don't know why, I don't know if it was because I had influencers who I looked up to who did it. At the time I was really into Halsey and just like powerful women who really enjoyed like having short hair. And honestly, it was such a statement and I just have always wanted to do it. So time goes on after I had my undercut, I ended up being, I'm gonna shave my head this time, I'm gonna do it. I had a lot of people in my life just tell me, no, it wouldn't look good on you, or you're gonna look like a lesbian, or you just aren't gonna look pretty with a shaved head, or you're a woman, why would you shave your head? That's for boys. And honestly, it was just a bunch of hate comments, and it really hurt me. As a girl who had just started college early on, that sucks. So I ended up just doing a pixie cut at the time. It was pretty much shaved on the sides, kind of like longer on top. I rocked that for probably, I think, four or five months or so, and I just still wasn't happy. I don't think I would have ever been happy if I had just wondered what if, what if I shaved my head, or oh, I wish I could shave my head, but I never did it. So I just did it. I went for it. I have realized that I am pretty spontaneous and impulsive when it comes to like hair stuff. I know that if I just think about it for too long, then I'll change onto something else, or I'll just decide that I don't wanna do it anymore. And honestly, I just figured why not? What is holding me back? Why are all of these people's comments affecting me so much? Why don't I just do it? Why does it matter so much? So when I got my own apartment with a friend, I ended up being like, you know what? This is the time I'm young and it's hair. It grows back. For all of you people who have issues with girls having short hair, like it grows back. So I shaved it. I shaved it, I think, in June of 2018. So two, almost two and a half years ago. I had it until January of 2019. And in January of 2019, I decided that I was sick of it. And so I wanted to change it up a little bit. So I had started to grow it out. It was kind of fun, but it was also a pain in the butt. I grew it out to short chin length bob or so, literally a week ago. It got completely to one length, which I had been waiting on for a long time. And it is now literally October, 2020. It's almost been two years. I finally got it from here all the way to here. Cause you know, when you grow your hair out, it's not just one length. This part will be down here. This part's here, this part's here. So it's just all kind of crazy at the same time. And so I had been waiting for that moment for so long to try to just get it to that one length when I was growing it out. And I don't know, I, I had contemplated on if I wanted to shave it or not. We had our wedding a few weeks ago, Josh and I did, and I had just been contemplating, what do I wanna do for the wedding? What do I do wanna do with my hair? Do I wanna cut it off before the wedding? Do I wanna wait till after the wedding? Do I wanna keep it? Because it's really feminine and girly and fun, and 
I don't know, I just had this itch that I just wanted to cut all my hair off again and I was just sick of dealing with it. And I don't know why because honestly my hair was really cute. I really enjoyed my hair when I did it. However, I didn't do it a lot because my hair is so thick and it just took forever to do. So whenever we got back from our honeymoon, I was thinking about it really, really hard. And I knew that this is just what I wanted to do. And it had been a, a while since I had a buzz cut or really, really, really short hair. And I don't know, I just, I talked to Josh about it and we had some like heart to heart moments and I cried and it was just like a whole journey. So for all of you guys who are haters on girls with short hair, there's more to it. It's not just because they want to look like a boy or whatever. But for me, it's just, I feel beautiful with short hair or no hair in general. And honestly, I was just ready. I was ready to cut that burden off in my life. I was ready to feel beautiful again and to focus on the features that I enjoy, which are a lot of my facial features. I really do enjoy that. And I think my hair takes away from that at times. Around a week ago, I was contemplating it. And my husband, Josh, who's the most amazing supporter, he was like, do it. Why are you holding back? I'm gonna love you no matter what. Your hair doesn't mean anything. If that's what's gonna make you feel beautiful, then do it. And I honestly cannot thank him enough for just like pushing me and supporting me through all of that. So yeah, now we're back to it. A week ago, I looked like this. Now I look like this. And honestly, I'm super stoked. So obviously having a shaved head comes with pros and cons. Obviously pros outweighed my cons because I did it again. My first pro, for sure is that I don't have to do my hair every day. You know how much time it is to wake up and actually put effort into your hair. I had really, really thick hair that was wavy in some spots, straight in some spots, really curly at the bottom. And honestly, I cannot just wake up, brush it and go. Like my hair just did not work that way. I either needed to get up and straighten it or get up and curl it or put some waves in it. Honestly, I just didn't want to do it. I am not a morning person and that was just not what I wanted, at least for this point in my life. It might be in the future, but right now that's not where I'm at. So I'm super glad I don't have to do it every day. My second pro would be that you are gonna save so much money on hair products. Obviously, you're still gonna have to shampoo and condition your hair, but you're not gonna have to use nearly as much product when it comes to shampoo and conditioner. Product-wise, you don't need a thousand different things. You don't need a wet brush anymore. You don't need leave-in conditioner and all these serums and oils and all of these different things, which I loved using. It made my hair feel so good, but I also love that my hair now is gonna be so much less of a hassle. I don't have to use all of those things. When we go on weekend trips or travel somewhere, I don't have to pack all of those things with me. Super stoked about that. One of my last pros for this video is that it helps build my confidence. For me, I just don't feel like I'm at a point in my life where that was making me happy. If anything, it was making me the complete opposite. I was feeling like my hair was a complete burden and I just didn't feel pretty anymore. And now I get to embrace feeling beautiful. And if you don't like that, then that's fine by me. So now I have a few cons. It's kind of hard for me to come up with a lot of these. My first con for having a buzz cut isn't even having the buzz cut but what society thinks of me and this used to bother me a lot a few years back when I did it the first time just because that sucks it sucks when people don't love and support you just because of your hair and that's honestly it's stupid so who cares anymore so that's not even a con really to me anymore but if you're gonna think about doing this, definitely think about if that would affect you or not. Another con I have is that in the fall and winter, when it gets a little bit colder, your head is pretty cold, but you get to try different things. You get to try different beanies and fedoras and headbands and whatever else you wanna try. It's super fun and it's really not that big of a deal. My last con is the biggest con for me, for sure. Just because I've gone through it several times at this point, it is growing your buzz cut out. So before you think of buzzing your hair, this is the one thing that you wanna contemplate. Is it worth it? Is it worth the two years almost to grow your hair out to one length, to get that chin length bob? Because 
it is definitely a hassle i'm not gonna lie your hair only grows so fast there's only so many vitamins and stuff you can take in order for it to grow obviously there's wigs and whatnot so it's really not the end of the world for me it was kind of fun at the same time because you get to have every single hairstyle you get to have a cute little pixie you get to like mess it up and have fun with it but that's definitely the worst con for me and i wrote it down probably four times on my notes so definitely think about that but if you have been thinking of having a buzz cut, or even if that just means getting an undercut or shaving just the side of your head, do it. What is holding you back? I want to be surrounded by people who love and support me for who I am, not because of my hair. If you think it's some stupid stereotype and you just don't like it, then that's probably an insecurity that you need to work on. And it's okay because I love myself. I love me for me and that's okay. And I love my hair because guess what? You don't have to wear it. Only I do. Only I do. So if you're thinking of doing something like buzzing your hair or growing it out or doing whatever, just do what you want. It's 2020. We need to stop worrying about people's hair, what they wear, what they look like. Let them be them. If that makes them happy, that's all that matters. So please, just start loving people. Start being nice to people because you don't know what they're dealing with deep down inside. I love my buzz cut, my husband loves my buzz cut, and guess what? Nothing else matters. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for viewing today. If you could click that subscribe button, make sure to like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.